Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Dig It Detecting. So as you can see, we're at a local oval and we're going to do a bit of coin shooting today. So hopefully pick up on a few of those pre-decimal coins uh, and even a few gold coins. Who knows, maybe even a ring. So we'll see how we go. We got lucky in our last video uh, and we actually scored two rings and a little, uh, oh look, fake, fake, but uh, a little fake diamond uh, earring or pin so look see how we go today uh, I sort of love this coin shooting I love doing the old history sites the old abandoned house sites and, and picking up on the old relics however uh, the sporting ovals here too uh, they have a lot of history so you know and a lot of activity in present day use so look great places to hunt and we'll be trying to utilize uh, the Knox 800 uh, as much as we can here and seeing what we can find so stay tuned because uh, it's going to be a ripper day Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're sort of taking advantage of this tree line again, uh, as I spoke about, or as I speak about in all my videos, tree lines are a great one, kids playing, uh, what have you while the matches are on, footy games and uh, what have you on, so, and this is another great example, some kid has lost, uh, what, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cents, uh, a bit of a coin spill, look, I know it's nothing special, it's not silver, and they're not pre-decimal, uh, pennies, unfortunately, that'll be even better. But uh, how cool is that? Little coin spill. So just digging them out one after the other. So, and that's why I have so many of these buggers at home. Hey, we got our first gold coin. Uh, a little bit. Uh, I was pinpointing a little bit off too, as you can see. I was sort of like going down this way, and then whoosh, had to go forward. So I'm still learning the XP uh, MI4 pinpointer because I don't use it all that often. Uh, I'm normally using the uh, MineLab 35 Profine, the yellow one. However, I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. I may have lost it. So, <laughs> I may have lost it yesterday at the uh, the other oval that we're at. So, we, are, we have plans to go back there uh, this afternoon and hit up that side again. And we're going to do the other side of the oval. So, fingers crossed uh, that... It's still sitting in the grass somewhere, and we can find it. Okay, so here it is. We've worked bloody hard for this one, I tell you. Uh, we have dug so many bottle tops already. Probably about, look, 20, 30 bottle tops in the last hour. But look at that cracker. That's why we've done it. 1952 Rue. Uh, once again, I was hoping it was going to be a florin. Um, but... We are going to nail a florin today, I'm certain, uh, and they don't call me fluky lukey for nothing, so I am certain that we'll nail a florin today, so we're just going to have to really dig our little heart out uh, and get it, so stay tuned because we are going to get one, I'm sure of it. Okay, so I've finally done it, we've got our first silver coin, however, it's not a florin, but still silver. And it's a sixpence, so coat of arms, you can see the kangaroo, uh, kangaroo's bum hiding on the back there. Let's give him a clean up, ready? Woo hoo hoo, 1962. Beautiful, beautiful. A nice dirt impression on the back there. We'll give him a bit more of a clean up. On the nice clean jeans. These were fresh out of the dryer this morning. Look at them. Lovely and dirty. So yeah, there you go, 1962. What a perler. That'll clean up really, really nice too. He's only 50% silver. Uh, however, how nice. Can't wait to give him a soak in uh, lemon juice and a bit of a scrub with some bicarb. And um, yeah, we'll give him, give him a look at the end of the video in the conclusion. So you ripper. Now we uh, just need something bigger. Okay, so we've sort of ventured away from the trees a little bit now. Uh, we've still got to do, and uh, well, we've still got to go right close to the trees and do a little bit of detecting, uh, sort of hug up along them, and do a little bit amongst the sticks there, amongst the fallen branches, and I intend to do that. 
well, I was going to say before lunch, but there you go. It's one o'clock. <laughs> I haven't checked the time. Look, we might have lunch and then we'll do that. Anyway, what I was going to show you here is uh, we've got a bit of a coin spill. We had uh, one uh, half rue penny come out of here. And then I stood back up and got another signal right here beside it in front of it. Uh, and it turns out to be uh, this guy, a 1927 uh, Commonwealth penny. So that was the first target, the half rue, 1950 and then 1927 penny what we'll do i haven't even done this yet i'm gonna throw these in the bag so still no florin yet uh, however we are having some success on the pre-decimals today which is nice uh, and i dare say yeah there you go i was getting a target so i'm just trying to concentrate where it is So I was getting a target when I was digging this hole here. I was getting a target coming off the side here. I was sort of a bit confused wondering what was going on. Uh, however, there you go, he's onto him. However, it wasn't really locking on properly, uh, whereas it was locking on to that other penny there better. So that's what we went after. But I did have uh, a sneaking suspicion that there was going to be another one there. And as you see, there is. Oh, so... We had first hole, second hole, third hole. Someone was running laps and lost their money. Or just sitting here watching the cricket or the footy. All right, he's out. There he is. Okay, so we got another penny. Another penny. Aren't they beautiful, the Commonwealth designs? Absolutely love them. So next to the old Brits, they've got to be one of my favourite coins. And look at the condition of it. Absolutely beautiful. 1911, that one. So very nice. Look at patina. Righto. Love finding them. But uh, we're going to put him in the pocket. And guess what we're after? We're still chasing that florin. Righto, so welcome back there, guys. Uh, we've changed sites as you can see and guess who we found old mate profine 35 He's laying on the grass over there. So just behind the car where I pulled up uh, yesterday. So he must have fallen out of the back uh, But I'm very very glad that we managed to find him because they're not cheap. That's about 200 bucks worth right there and uh, I try and keep one uh, to use and one as a spare hence the uh, XP MI4 that sits in my car. So anyway look with the pinpointer back in hand, uh, we have now found our first target for this side again. So, nice little $2 coin. We're going to try and find a nice florin or a shilling or something like that. Something a little bit bigger. That uh, would be really, really nice. But uh, we'll just see how we go. I'm happy to pull a few goldies. Uh, and I'm also looking for some rings here too, uh, as we found some. Just last hunt uh, here, we found what little nice silver ring. And a Super Bowl ring. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. So stay tuned, and we'll see what we're going to unearth for the afternoon. Okay, so we're still plodding along. Still looking for that florin. It's crazy. Still eluding me. Now look what we just got here, though. There's a 26. <sighs> Let me clean that off for you. You can see the impression properly. It was a 26, and, uh, well, it wasn't a florin. It was the United States of America one-cent coin. Now this is why you should always check your little coins properly because I could have easily mistaken this one for a one cent and thrown him in the bag. Oop, I keep dropping him. Uh, what do we got? 1980. In God we trust. He trusts God. So I got D. D underneath 1980. So that'll be where it was minted. Very cool, very cool. Not the florin that we were chasing. Uh, however, nice to dig something different. Okay, 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 he's done it. He's done it, he's getting bigger. Uh, he hasn't done it properly, but he, he's definitely getting bigger. So look at that, shelling, 1957. Let's give him a wipe. So we're just digging out everything that moves uh, at this site, anything that's good, uh, and rings up nice and high. And well, this was one of them. He was jumping around a bit, 23, 24, dare say due to other mixed signals in the ground. Uh, but yeah, what a ripper, 23, 24. 
and we've got ourselves a ram head shilling now i'm hoping if that's anything to go off the silvers are going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and we're going to get ourselves up to a florin i was going to say there might be another target in there but there's not uh who knows we might even get a crown uh, I've never ever found a crown uh, coin detecting. I have found a uh, around 50 cent piece though, and uh, even those, they are unbelievable to find. So, fingers crossed, let's see what we can do. He's got a coin spill, another one. We're having a coin spill day. Let's see if one of these is a florin. No, damn. Two pennies, two roos sitting in a hole together. God, why couldn't one of the U's be in a florin? That's all I want, just a florin. I wouldn't think I'd be asking. Too much. So I don't know why uh, this one was ringing up so high. She was a 34. I was really expecting it to be nice big old silver. But we've got ourselves a half Commonwealth penny. It looks to be 35 maybe. Yeah, I'm going to say 35. Anyway, a bit weird, a bit weird. I think, I think what's happening is uh, so many other mixed targets in the ground and uh, also being a little bit of a stormy, windy day, uh, we're getting a little bit that, of that interference, uh, which is interfering on our target IDs. So, and that can happen, that can happen. I, uh, I just dug a, a ring pull tab uh, that was ringing up at a 25, you know. They generally ring up uh, 18 at the highest, so generally around 14, 15, but 18 at the highest. So that is sort of what's happening. I was expecting it to be like a penny or a florin uh, at, at a 25, and instead I just got a, a pull tab. So a bit strange, but anyway, we're going to work with it and uh, keep plodding along, see so how we go. Here's another good example of one that was uh, ringing in a little bit funny, and it's a $2 coin, as you can see. However, he was ringing in at a 24, 25. So go figure, uh, just a good reminder though, just because it uh, doesn't sound like a, a coin or it doesn't ring up like a coin, doesn't mean it's not a coin. So you gotta dig that trash to get that treasure. So, and we're doing all right today. We, uh, we're we gonna push over the $10 limit again today, which is really, really good. So a bit of extra fuel money. Listen to the detector go. It's just sitting there. And because of this approaching storm, I can't, I can't noise cancel and quieten it down anymore. And look, I could probably bump the sensitivity down a bit more. Now, where's the fun in that though? You've got to be able to dig deep. So that's quieting it down a little bit straight away. Anyway, still working with it though. I'm going to put that back up. 23. Anyway, still working with it and we're having some success. So as you can see here, we've got another goldie. I said we are getting rich today. We're gonna might even break the uh, might even hit the twenty dollar limit today. So not bad, not bad at okay, all. Okay, 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 okay. Ready for this one? He's done it. He's done it. He's got a florin finally. You beauty, you beauty. I'm really sorry that I didn't show it coming out. To be honest, I'm nearly about to pack up and leave. And uh, we're working beside the toilet box. So someone's raced to the toilet and dropped their florin. So anyway, he wasn't that deep either. He was only just sitting. Uh, pity I couldn't find the coin impression for you. Sorry guys, I sort of, I'm in a bit of a haste and I just dug it and uh, lo and behold, we got silver. It was a 28 too. 1951. You perler. Bloody perler. That's all I wanted today was a florin and we got one. So we've got the six minutes, got the shilling, and now we've got the florin. Oh, what a day. What a day. I, uh, this is why I love metal detecting. You never know what's coming out next. So into the pocket he goes. Dunk. And uh, the amount of trash we've dug today, uh, we've earned that florin. We have definitely earned it. So what is that? Number eight for the year now, or number nine, I think it is. Um, so you bloody ripper. Absolute ripper. And I have dug so many one and two cent coins too. Uh, to get that so as I said I've worked hard for that oh there's part of the coin impression there you can see it on the end of the shovel from where the shovels got in underneath him and dug see that sort of tarnishing oh, not if you can't focus see that tarnishing in the dirt that's where that coin would have been sitting 
anyway, let's keep going. Time out. Well, so this guy reckons. Uh, I think we're uh, I think we're pretty much done, and uh, I think this might also signify uh, that we need to finish up. So. Oh, we got the Asim Thunderer. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Thunderer. Doesn't play thunder. Plays a whistle. Asim Cushion Grip. Very nice. Very nice. As I said, I think I think this will be the last find that we've uh, we've got, and I think we might finish up uh, very soon. We're just going to make it back to the car, and we all know how how long that can take me. So we might even dig another target yet. Look out. Okay, so as you can see, we're back home now and uh, we've gave the finds a bit of a clean up. We've laid them all out, uh, ready to show you what we've got. So we uh, we said uh, midway through, um, start of the day sort of thing, we were going to dig a florin and well, we nailed one. However, check out all the rubbish that we had to dig uh, to get it. So, and not just the florin, uh, those other coins that you're about to see too. So look, we've probably got, We've probably got a good 50, 60 bits of rubbish here, uh, which is quite all right because that, that's, you know, that's part and parcel of detecting. Uh, and without uh, digging the treasure, uh, without digging the trash, you will not get the treasure. So, like this mellow yellow lid, had to dig him out. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll take you through to the good stuff now and we'll show you what we've got. So, and I am parked in the wrong direction. The sun is behind me, I'm sorry. However, we'll work with what we've got in the shadows here. So. This one's hard to see anyway, but he's a 1935, uh, one penny. We had the 1927, or well, that one's a half penny, I should say. And then beside him, we had the 1927 Commonwealth full penny, the 1911, uh, and we'll jump over those silvers, come back to them. We had the couple of rue pennies. Now, the reason why they look like that, <coughs> excuse me, is because uh, they were sitting together. So basically protecting themselves uh, from the elements so from the mineralization in the ground. Uh, and that's what basically uh, causes that patina, that green patina look that you see there. So you can see the difference in them. Anyway, so another rue penny uh, and a couple of half rue pennies. Nothing too special, but I also still love finding the pennies. So we dug, uh, what, 26 or 27 two cent coins? And we dug 28 one cent coins crazy i know there's over 50 targets that uh, could have potentially been pre-decimal coins however they sound so good uh, just like the pre-decimals you have to dig them so anyway it is what it is so what do we get uh, 12 bucks in goldies right there a few nice gold coins and another five dollars on this side so 17 bucks all up and a 50 cent coin and a few 20s. Now, I don't normally dig the 20 cent coins. They come in a, at a 16. Uh, even the 50 cent coin, I don't normally dig those because they come in at a 17. And anybody who uses Equinox 800, you'll also know that 16, 17s are bottle tops as well. So, yeah, you know, pick and choose, but how many bottle tops do you want to dig just for a few 20s and 50 cent coins? So, I don't generally target in on them. However, they sounded too good uh, at the site that I was at. So, we had to dig them. So, anyway... We also had the little uh, United States of America one cent coin. That was a 1980, I think it was. Yeah, so 1980. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. I've dug a few of those in the past, but it's nice to dig something different anyway. So, uh, And now to the silvers. So we first off started finding uh, this morning uh, this little sixpence here, 62 sixpence. Beautiful, beautiful little coin. We wanted something bigger and we got it. We jumped up to the 57 ram head shilling. So as you can see, I have cleaned these up, as I said at the start of the video, just with some bicarb soda and water and rubbing between the fingers and then rinsing off with water. Well, we've got the, 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 the ram head shilling and then we still wanted that bigger silver. And look, I said that we were gonna nail one today uh, and we did just that. So, and look, that wasn't uh, to say, oh, look how much rubbish we dug. You know, as I said, we, we, we dug our little heart out for this, so uh, it was well deserved today. Anyway, and, and look, one of the one of the last few targets that we dug for the day too, which is nice. So um, we ended the day uh, on a high note. So really, really nice. And once again, gave him a bit of a clean up uh, with the bicarb soda. He still needs a bit more of a go on that side though. So anyway, and probably probably a um, a soak in lemon juice uh, will help remove that, and then. 
uh, we'll hit him with a bit of bicarb soda. So, but anyway, what a ripper, what a ripper. Uh, beautiful day. So that, the florin, uh, top my day. I love the florins. So we also had uh, one of our last few digs. We also had the Asim Thunderer uh, whistle made in England. So, and uh, I bet I know what you're all wondering. Does it still work? Let's have a go. Yes, it does. Bloody hell, that's awesome. I might be able to go and coach a few football matches now. So, and check out where all they're, where they're dropping all the coins at the same time. So, what a ripper. Anyway, um, that'll be about it for today, guys. Uh, I really, really hope you enjoyed. Uh, a few tips and tricks uh, go, shared as, uh, as we went in the last few videos of how I sort of find and, and nail in on these coins. Yes, I dig a lot of rubbish. However, I am rewarded uh, with the treasures as well. So always worth it. So anyway, hit that like and subscribe button below. Uh, be sure to follow us uh, for more. So, And I really hope to see you on that next, uh, next adventure. So cheers, guys. Happy hunting.